I think we can call that professional. Manchester United 2-0 winners away at Granada. Marcus Rashford and Bruno Fernandes, our two main goal scorers this season, come up with the goods. Marcus Rashford with an outrageous touch. After an outrageous pass from Victor Lindelof, he made it 1-0 out of nowhere. So much out of nowhere that the TV cameras missed it, even though they got the streaker. But Bruno Fernandes, right towards the end of the game, comes up with the goods from the spot. Penalty was given. It's hopefully put the tie to bed. It hopefully means that Manchester United now can go into that second leg and it's game, set and match. It might not be given the fact that Maguire is suspended, McTominay is suspended, Shaw is suspended, but Manchester United comfortable 2-0 winners. Let's be honest, it was a dull game to watch and you have to be completely honest here and say that this is going to be the case every single game until fans are back in the stadium. You know, that ship has sailed now. Just the lack of an atmosphere, the lack of a tempo that comes from the crowd. When United are playing bad, that the, the crowd forces the team to play better. When the crowd, crowd are playing great and the team, the, the fans react. Those are in the crowd playing great. You know what I mean. Look, that ship has sailed. So until that changes, it's going to be stale. It's going to be stagnant to watch. And largely, it was quite a stagnant game. Granada seemingly happy to sit deep. Uh, very untypical for a Spanish team. Not like it was against Real Sociedad, who tried to play against us, and we exploded on the counter-attack. But United, we struggled to really break them down. Pogba and McTominay playing in the sort of deeper double pivot. I don't think it suits Paul Pogba. I don't think it ever really has suited Paul Pogba. He is better when he plays further up, probably on the left-hand side, alongside Bruno. But he was tasked with playing deeper today, and he seemed to sort of disappear into the game after he got a yellow card. I found that a bit strange. One thing I did find strange, and one thing I will always find strange right now, is why is Marcus Rashford starting for Manchester United? The guy is dead. He was at 50% today. But then, with that moment of quality, the only real moment of quality in that first half, he goes to show exactly why Solskjaer continues to play him, even though he is dead on his feet. I mean, after five minutes, he was like bent over, holding his hands on his hips. Rashford is clearly not fit to play right now for Manchester United. A bit like Wayne Rooney and the idea that he will never say that he's not ready and fit to play, but it's a manager's job to look at a player and say, you need rest. But Solskjaer chose not to. And he was vindicated given that Rashford scored that goal. What a pass from Victor Lindelof, by the way. I think he's easily, I mean, it's not It's not. I think, it's obvious. He's easily our best centre-back when it comes to passing it out from the back when he's got space and time to think about it. When you put pressure on Lindelof, it's a bit of a different situation, but Granada did not do that tonight. So Lindelof exploited that. A lovely ball over the top and the touch from Rashford was outrageous. It was like poetry in motion. Took it down, one touch, another touch to set himself up and a lovely controlled finish into the corner. A real moment of quality and Rashford now has scored 20 or more goals in two consecutive seasons. All credit to him. Solskjaer has helped make him a better goal scorer. That is without question. And United right now, given that we're relying on, I think Bruno's on 24 for the season now after that penalty and, and Rashford's on 20. The next behind him, I think, is McTominay and Martial on seven. So they are our two main men, and tonight they came up with the goods. And Granada, they didn't really offer much. Kennedy, with his long shots, almost like he had a bet on himself to get like four shots on target. He was just hitting them left, right, and center from like 30, 40 yards. It was really threatening us. United's defense, solid tonight, again, in shape, again. And I think you can say that for a, a lot of United's games this season. It's, it's, something, it's a pattern that we've seen emerge, and it's a pattern that continues to repeat itself. It probably won't repeat itself in the, in the return leg because Shaw's out. And Maguire is out, so we we'll probably see Tellez there. I think that's why Tellez came on at half time, just as Solskjaer sort of gave Tellez a chance to play against Granada for 45 minutes here tonight. Get used to how they play, X, Y, Z. I think that was a bit of a smart move, given that Shaw can't play in the return leg. Referee tonight was a bit weird, kept bugging out yellow cards for United, kept letting Granada seemingly get away with terrible tackles. I don't really know, but. United were firm favourites tonight, and it's not that's not a result which is going to change anything really but it, if the result went the other way it certainly would have put far more so it was a lose-lose situation for for that for Solskjaer in my opinion that game because win it you're expected to win it lose it oh and you're a terrible manager Ooh, maybe you should get the sack that sort of result but United were professional tonight that's all we needed to be and Granada they did not offer much they really didn't and we get Ajax or Roma in the semi-final and we have to now go to that second leg next week and just get the early goal Get that goal in the first 20. It's not typical of United when you watch us this season, is it? We don't really come out firing. Uh, 
but we have to. We have to put the game to bed within the first 20 minutes against Granada at Old Trafford next week. We have to do it without a few players, but there's still plenty of quality we've got in that team. Maybe I'd like to see Amad Diallo start that game. Maybe you won't, but you'll probably see Donny van der Beek start. Came on at the end there. But tonight, all it needed to be from United was a professional performance. And we've been pretty damn professional in the Europa League all season long when we since we've been in it. Milan, apart from that equaliser, late, late equaliser away, we were very good against Milan tonight. It was not spectacular in any way, shape or form. But it got the job done. And it puts us in a perfect position. Because of how we how well we've done in the league this year, by comparison of our rivals, we've not done incredible in the league, but we're picking up points where others are dropping them. And that's a sort of a habit that we didn't really have last season. It's given us a comfortable cushion. I think it's like 11 points now above fourth or fifth, sorry. So you can effectively consider the Champions League secure next year. Maybe I'm famous last words when I'm saying that, but that's the way I'm looking at it. And therefore, the Europa League is all that matters. So the Spurs game of the weekend, it might be Mourinho. It might, it, it's not important. Do not play Marcus Rashford against Spurs. I beg of you, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, please just leave the guy on the bench. He is knackered and we need him for the Europa League this year. And it's another game, by the way, which largely passes Bruno Fernandes by and another game where he just crops up and scores a goal. Uh, he, the guy's insane. His, his return rate is insane. It's not, it's not. He hasn't been playing at his best level for quite a while now, but he still just comes up with goals and assists almost every single match. I can't really believe it, but he just continued. The consistency is unrivaled. Really is one of the best in the world, and we are lucky to have him. But Manchester United there tonight, you call it professional. You wouldn't call it spectacular in any way, shape, or form. And for large parts of it, it was very boring. But I think that's now because we're all bored of watching football without fans. We're bored of it being silent. We're bored of there not being any sort of controversy that the crowd can cause by cheering or booing or just following the game and following the emotions of a game. It's been taken out. But the result there is all that was, that was important for United tonight. We got it. 2-0, Rashford and Bruno coming up with the goods. Who was your man of the match? Me thinking about it. No one really stood out. I quite like Mason Greenwood in the first half, by the way, in that number nine role. I thought he was making lots of runs that nobody really seemed to pick up. Second half wasn't as good, but kind of annoyed that his runs got ignored so much because I think people are going to say he didn't play that well. But let me know what you think about the game in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to United People's TV. And United 2 0 winners there tonight. Very comfortable overall. And bring on the second leg next week where hopefully we score early and kill the tie quick. And hopefully with Marcus Rashford on the bench.